Hi, and welcome to Pimp My Noodles, the only show that challenges you to use your noodle daily. What's up? My name's Aaron Harvey, and today we face a bit of a moral dilemma. Just because you can make a carbonara out of instant noodles doesn't mean you should. Luckily, I have no morals, so let's get cooking, shall we? Trying to think of how many people this dish will offend. There's like, what, 60 million people in Italy? Cicciolina, she'd be rolling in her grave right now. Mussolini would have me dragged through the streets by my heels. Okay, so all the ingredients you need to cook this horrendous dish are up on the screen right now, or you can find them at pimpmynoodles.com. This is your one-stop noodle pimping shop. I tell you, you've got to go there. It's got merch, condiments to make, ideas for stuff to stock your pantry with. Hell, it's even got nude photos of Josh. First things first, you need a bowl, and we're just gonna simply crack our egg into the bowl. Today, we are using these incredible cheese-flavored ramen noodles from our friends at Paldo. Josh, can you get a shot of this? Just move it up a little bit. Yep. Yeah, it's nicely covering your face. Perfect, thank you. Thank you very much, sir, and wonderful to work with you too. These ramen noodles actually come with powdered cheese sachet, so we're gonna crack this bad boy open and put it into our eggs. Ooh, that's some cheesy goodness right there. Let's have a bit of a taste. Oh, it's like the devil's uh, I don't think this is meant to be eaten like this because if evil had a flavor, uh, this would be it. I'm actually gonna have to duck off and wash my mouth out. This is, um... sorry about that. Um, so next thing we need to do is add our Parmesan cheese. Now the cheese and the egg basically are the whole sauce. So you've got to be pretty generous with this cheese. I love Parmesan anyway, so it's not really like you have to talk me into it. Leonardo da Vinci, hell, Leonardo DiCaprio wouldn't like this. Grab some black pepper and just crack it over the top. Al Pacino, he wouldn't be too impressed. Stallone, probably go Rocky on Mars. How much? Well, again, I'm gonna leave it up to you. It really does add a wonderful kick to, to you know, whatever you're cooking with. Anyone that's been in a Martin Scorsese film, they'd be offended. I think you'll find that it really works well with the flavors of the bacon, the cheese, and the egg. Let's whisk these together and make it into our little sauce. Simple as that. Now it's time to cook our bacon. Get a pan, put it over a medium heat, add some olive oil. Who's the Italian Prime Minister, the, the guy that's not corrupt at all? It wouldn't be Berlusconi, would it? Berlusconi, he's the man. He'd be, he'd be pretty offended. So when your pan's nice and hot, it's time to grab the bacon. And we're gonna just jam it in. Oh, listen to that sound. It's like magic, isn't it? It's my favorite sound in the world, the sound of bacon frying. And we're gonna cook that until it's beautifully brown and oh, all that wonderful goodness is rendered out of the uh, bacon. Then we're gonna flip it over and repeat the process. Ooh, so beautiful. Oh yeah! So when your bacon looks like this, take it off the heat, put your bacon on a board, and you see this, it's got this little bit of bacon fat in here. We're going to keep that, so don't throw that out. Just put your pan aside for the moment. And we're just gonna cut up our bacon really, really quickly here. Size is really up to you. I like to do it pretty small. When the bacon's done, it's time to cook our noodles. Marco Polo would not be impressed. I can guarantee you, in fact, that Marco Polo probably wouldn't have even gone over to China and bought noodles back to Italy to make pasta in the first place. That's how offensive this dish is. Grab a pot, put some water in it, and put it over a medium heat. When the water comes to a boil, just What's drop that? one and a half packets of noodles into the boiling water and cook it for two minutes. Okay, so watching these noodles cook is about as interesting as watching this show. So while we're bored to death, I'm gonna tell you where you can find us online. At the socials, we're at Pimp My Noodle Show. If you're watching us on YouTube, remember to subscribe. Nothing is more important in your life right now than hitting that subscribe button. Okay, so when the noodles are done, take them off the heat and strain them. Add the bacon back to the pan, add the noodles and mix them together, making sure you get all that wonderful flavor all over the noodles. My glasses are steaming up, I'm getting that excited. I'll tell you who wouldn't be impressed, that's Mario Batali. I would not be in Mr. Batali's good books, I'll tell you that. Sophia Loren, she wouldn't like it one little bit. Gigi Buffon. Gigi Buffon wouldn't like it. I don't even know who that is, but I know he wouldn't like it. Grab your bowl before these noodles cool down too much. Just simply put the noodles into the bowl and mix them around. The heat from the noodles is gonna cook the egg. 
make sure you get all the bacon. You haven't gone to all this trouble, cooked all this bacon, for us to leave even the slightest skerrick of bacon in the pan. I won't stand for it. Get your tongs and simply just toss the noodles around in the cheese sauce. There we go. And just like that, the whole dish is done. It's time to plate. You want to plate this nice and quickly. I'm just going to try and make this look a bit rock star. Twist up your noodles like so. Just simply move them over to the plate. I just like to put a little bit more cracked black pepper over the top. Yeah, I didn't want to think what the mafia would do to me. I'd tell them it was Josh's idea. Time to finish it off with a little bit of extra grated parmesan. My noodle. And there you go, it's that easy. Quicker than you can say, mama mia, we've gone off and destroyed thousands of years of Italian culinary history. I'm really proud of the instant carbonara. But don't take it from me, let's get Josh in here. Josh, tell us what you think of our little creation here today. You really do have no morals. Don't hold back now, Josh. Thank you so much. Well, that's our show. I've been Aaron Harvey, and you've been watching Pimp My Noodles. Why didn't you taste it? Come on, man, it doesn't look that bad. You've offended an entire nation. Yeah, but you know, made a kind of cool looking noodle dish. Instant carbonara, destroying thousands of years of culinary heritage in one fantastic plate. Oi! That dude who, um you know, did the Mona Lisa, whatever his name was. Galileo, Copernicus. God, I could, I could name them. I, I am naming them. Why didn't you put hot oil in there? Well, I was going to. I was going to put hot massage oil in originally, but, um, you know, I didn't. <laughs>